crazy how you can have all the cold hard facts about a motherfucker just doing you greasy and lying and they'll still lie like what type of dumb bitch do you think i am it's your girl megan rose here and i'm back with another video and as you can see by the title his ass cheated so get ready with me and let me tell you how i found out you know how you have, have a feeling somebody ain't shit but you don't really have hardcore evidence y'all and i used to really just always like accuse him of doing shit because shit just used to not be adding up but i never had like serious hardcore evidence you feel me and he loved that shit you know what i'm saying yeah! you know what i'm saying dudes love when you don't have hardcore fucking evidence so he loved that until eventually eventually i found this piece of paper and i'm gonna call my ex randy and i'm gonna call the girl angela i was at randy's house and i found a random piece of paper with a whole bunch of numbers on it and i'm just like okay it had a whole bunch of different names and it had this girl angela's number on it i asked randy like who's this girl angela and why the fuck is her name on a piece of paper and you have a whole phone you know what i'm saying like that shit's weird as fuck so he's like oh no angela is my cousin you know what i'm saying that ain't even nobody angela is my cousin so i'm like that's a little random for you to have your cousin's number on a random piece of paper but you know what i'm saying that's not really cold hard facts you know what i'm saying weird shit uh, like that it, that was some weird shit y'all but that's not like cold hard facts that i needed so fast forward y'all we're gonna fast forward a whole year later so at this point in my life i'm just going through so much shit you know what i'm saying he was acting the fuck up like it was just so much shit going on in my life y'all. like it was literally so freaking annoying so me and him get into it i don't know if he's cheating or whatever i don't know if he's cheating or what the fuck he's doing at this point but he's getting on my goddamn nerves okay that's all i knew and we was just it was just it was like really toxic it was just so much shit going on so eventually somehow he left his phone i can't really recall exactly where he went but for some reason he left his phone behind mind you this is like 9 10 o'clock at night so his phone rings and the name angela pops up so i'm like what the fuck is going on i'm really just like oh hell no like let me see what, what the fuck cousin angela gotta talk about i answer the phone like hello she's like oh can i speak to randy and I'm like, Randy's not here right now. Can I, can I help? Like, oh, no, he just hasn't called me today. I'm just trying to see what's up. Like, can you just let him know? So I'm like, wait a minute. So it, I don't know if it was because the way she, I don't know if it was because the way she said it, y'all. But I knew Angela was not this man's cousin, okay? So I'm like, oh, who's Randy to you? She said something to the effect like me and him talking or like kicking it or that's my boo or something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Along those lines. So, you know, I'm like, oh, hell to the, oh, hell no, okay? So, I'm like, so, do you know who I am? So, now I'm trying to see like, is, do he be lying to us or, you know what I'm saying? Or he's keeping a real with you and you know you're a side chick. So, I asked her. So, she's like, yeah, you're his aunt. You're his aunt. So I'm like his aunt. Hold the fuck up. And he told me that his aunt is staying with him. Like he's paying the bills. Mind you, me and Randy stayed together. Like me and Randy stayed together. So I'm just like, he's like, she's like, yeah. Randy told me like, you know, his he moved, had to move his aunt in because his aunt fell onto hard times and you know, blah blah blah. So I'm just like, no, me and him live together. Like, where the I was just so piss y'all like when i tell y'all i was so pissed especially because of the fact that it's like you you've been messing with this girl for how long obviously you know i seen the the name on the piece of paper about a year ago y'all like so you know that's that that's what really hurts too because it's like you've been fucking with this bitch for a while now like you know what i'm saying and i'm just like yo i was so salty and so her like how can you really just live with somebody like how can somebody wake up to you how can somebody wake up to you every day and just be straight just doing you dirty cheating on you mind you i was going through so much at this time y'all i just felt like so betrayed because it's like 
how do you cheat on somebody when they're like at their lowest freaking point you know what i'm saying and then you and then you're around me every freaking day just knowing you're messing around with everybody and you've been doing it for a while you know what i'm saying so i'm just trying to really get the tea i'm like no you know what i'm saying we live together we've been together for years we stay together like i'm not his fucking aunt okay i'm not his aunt okay I, the shit that we did last night I wouldn't do no shit like that to my nephew, okay? Put it that way. Angel is just like, wow, like, Randy's a fucking liar. Like, he tells me every day how much he wants to be with me and, like, how much he loves me and this and that. And I'm, y'all, I was, like, literally so freaking heartbroken because I'm like, yo, like, my heart felt like it was coming out my motherfucking chest. Especially for you to call me your aunt. I'm your aunt now. Oh, I'm your aunt now. So now I'm just asking questions. Like, so when's the last time you've seen him? She's like, yeah, like I just seen him a couple days ago. She wasn't even coming at me. She was kind of on some shit like, wow, like who the fuck does that? Like, this dude is li literally living a double fucking life. Like, I had no idea he was fucking with anybody at all. Like, he was just saying he was single. He was saying like he don't deal with nobody at all. Like, that he had an ex. But, you know, he don't fuck with her no more. And she's this and she's that. Like, basically just dogging me out to the bitch. Just act like he had no dealings with me. Nothing. Mind you, we're staying to... Mind you, y'all, we are living together. We're living together, y'all. It was just... It was just so fucked up and crazy. Like, I never felt... I never felt so betrayed like that ever before. Like, I never felt so fucking betrayed like that. And especially because it's like we're staying together. We're trying to build something. And you over here telling bitches I'm your aunt. Like, so it, it's crazy because Randy used to always accuse me of, like, cheating. Like, always saying, like, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Like, he knows I'm messing with somebody else. Mind you, that whole time, y'all, I was going through so much shit. I didn't even really have, like, the urge to even fuck with nobody you know what i'm saying like i would it was just so it was just crazy y'all at that point in my my life it literally made me so like insecure like what made you want to downplay me for the next bitch you know what i'm saying so it just really just hurt my heart y'all and it's like the stuff that she was saying it, the stuff that she was saying was so true like it all just added up because i'm not the one to just be listening to anything because sometimes bitches just be just running their mouth just to be running their mouth you know what i'm saying so i'm not even that type of person but it's like her her whole delivery with everything like how everything just made sense of like when she was seeing him like when he used to go missing and shit like that y'all i'm just like i cannot fucking believe this shit I can't fucking believe this shit, okay? I brought it up to him, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, Angela, the bitch that you said with your whole fucking cousin, she's talking about how y'all was messing around and this and that. And then, on top of everything, everything the bitch is saying is making sense, so I believe her. It's just so crazy how you can have all the cold, hard facts about a motherfucker just doing you greasy and lying, and they'll still lie. Like, what type of dumb bitch do you think I am? It's so crazy, y'all. And I'm just like, I cannot fucking do this. And I never looked at him the same. Because it's just like, how can I look at you? Like, even if we start, it's like, I don't know. Like, because I, I know people deal with um people after, you know, they cheat or whatever the case may be. But it's kind of like hard to like full heartedly forgive a cheater. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like. Not only are you a cheater, but you're a liar. Because those go fucking hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Not only are you a cheater, but you're a liar. And you're fake. Like, you're not to be trusted, bro. Like, I don't know, y'all. Like, it was just a whole... It was just like a whole fucking hot-ass mess. Like, and I was just going through all that depressing shit. Like, my whole life was in shambles. My nigga ain't shit. Like, it was just fucking horrible. Like... And y'all, that's why I'm a savage now. That y'all, that's why it's so hard to really give, like, my feelings to anybody. Because I got played so fucking hard, y'all. Like, I got played so hard. And I can't fucking trust nobody. Motherfuckers will really break your heart while you're all the way down. Like, so crazy because it's like, first he lied, y'all. But then it was when there was no more lies and he can tell, like, I'm just reading through all the bullshit. And, you know, my follow-up questions is, like, clearly, like, you're fucking lying. You know what I'm saying? That's when he finally gave me all these reasons. Like, basically made it my fault why he was cheating. Like, you did this. You did that. Like, I never felt like you cared about me. Like, I never felt like you loved me. Da, da, da. So, why the fuck are we... So, why the fuck are you sitting in my face on a on a daily, nightly basis if that's why you're cheating? Like, I feel like people... I just feel like people be bogus and they just be wanting excuses to do shit. And then it's so crazy because when I stopped fucking with him, 
he kept trying to deal with me and it's like what i don't understand is like if you're cheating and shit's that bad at home that you're cheating calling me calling me your aunt to bitches like just straight down playing with me like i'm just nobody and then when you do talk about me you're talking like all this fucked up shit why why try to get back with me like if it's that bad like why even try to deal with me again like it was like it was just a mess <sighs> more of the story trust your intuitions don't let that motherfucker tell you you're crazy you got it girl you got it yeah, yeah. life is good <laughs>